In this video, I'm gonna show you how to find inspiration for your next print-on-demand design. What's up guys, thanks for clicking on this video. My name is Nate Hibbert and this is Wingman University where our goal is to help you start and scale a print-on-demand business. Today I was designing for our print-on-demand business and I was doing a lot of text-based designs. And as I was doing a number of them, I kind of got bored with the layouts that I was using. So I opened up Pinterest and I started looking at some images over there. That's been my new favorite place to find inspiration for designing. And I came across this design that I'm gonna show you guys in just a second. Uh, I really liked the layout. It had brought some new ideas to what I was doing just to mix things up a bit. So I'm gonna use a design that I had for our business and actually apply it uh, using the layout that I found on Pinterest and I just thought that would make an interesting video for you guys uh, and this is kind of the lesson how to really take inspiration from something. I'm um, using a completely different saying and uh, it's a little bit longer it might not fit in there exactly how I want it to but I'm going to show you guys that process today and hopefully it gets your gears turning on how you can take inspiration from other designs and other layouts and use them for the sayings that you want to use on your print on demand products. But let's go ahead and jump into Spark and start this process. So here we are inside of Pinterest. This is the shirt that I found that I really liked some of the elements uh, from this design. So again, if I zoom in here, um, bad puns are how I roll is the saying, and you can see that they're just adding fairly simple uh, techniques and some icons here to just make this design really pop and, and be much more interesting than if they just would have written this on a shirt. So things like these lines here are very nice. And just putting the R vertically uh, so that it fits in line with everything else, but that's kind of a boring word. We don't need to draw much attention to that word. Uh, so sticking it over here on the left-hand side so it's a little out of the way um, really lets the pun of this shirt and the saying land more effectively and draw attention to what's more important, like how I roll. Uh, so I really liked this and so I'm going to be applying this design element and this idea that I have open here in Spark which is this is your worst idea ever. I will be there in 10 minutes which is actually a text message uh, that a friend sent me and said can you make a shirt of this. So I was just trying to find uh, an interesting layout which I think I have found here uh, to use this saying because it's a little bit longer of a saying and my like I said the traditional layouts that I was using are the ones that are kind of my go-to uh, just were kind of getting boring today so I wanted to mix things up. Up. So first thing that I'm going to do now that I'm ready to design is actually split my screens. That way I don't have to keep flicking back and forth between the two different tabs. Um, and I can do this by drawing these both out. And then I'll have my inspiration over here on the left hand side and my design over here on the right uh, on our Spark artboard. Uh, the next thing I want to do is split this text. Uh, so we're going to try and use a few different levels, but we're going to think about how this text would work, uh, you know, and what parts we want to draw attention to. So this is your is all kind of uh, one part of this saying and is kind of boring. So we don't necessarily need to make this uh, bold or draw too much attention to it. So I think this will kind of just sit on top. Worst idea are probably two different words that we want to draw attention to. Uh, and maybe worst idea ever will all be three ideas that we can uh, draw attention to. And then the second part, we're gonna break out all together. But let's work on this first part of the saying. Um, so first thing, or next thing I'm gonna do is duplicate this out. Uh, that way I have the full saying, I'm gonna drag that down. And then I'm going to double click in here and delete out this last part because we don't need that. We can hit done on this and I'm going to duplicate this again because I want to separate out these first three words. This is your. So we've got our first part of our saying. We're going to turn this into the middle part of our saying. Worst idea ever. And these three words might actually get broken up uh, as well. But for right now, we'll just leave these as two different boxes. And something that I've been doing lately is adding an icon, a square icon to the back of my designs. Uh, that way I have a better sense of the balance that's going to be in my design. And things are just a little bit more aligned, um, a lot more aligned when I'm using uh, this type of guide. So what I do is I import a square. I kind of drag it to where I think the design would be. I want to make sure that it's fairly center. And then I put this all the way to the back and I actually make the opacity a little bit less. And I'm usually making this pink uh, just so it stands out. Uh, and that way I can see where my design is going to be. I'll align the first part of my sentence. This is yours nice and close to the top of the design because we want this to be near the collar of the shirt uh, and not on the midsection. Uh, and I think I'll actually leave it this size. So this is gonna be uh, almost 500 font. And so I'll leave that right there. And I'm gonna bring this up underneath it to 
But as I'm looking at this design, not forgetting that I have my inspiration right over here to the left, uh, I'm seeing that this is this whole design is fairly square. Uh, so what I'm going to do actually is I will make this uh, this is yours a little bit bigger. So to keep everything contained, I'm going to make my square guideline in the background here a little bit smaller. Make sure it's center again, and then I'll make this is your all nice and big at the top here. Once we have that in place, I'm going to take inspiration again from this design and see how they have bad and puns uh, kind of on these two different levels, a split level almost. Now we could add in a rectangle. I don't know if I'm going to do as fancy as a rectangle here. Uh, it's almost three rectangles in one. Uh, I might just put one here for the simplicity of this design and kind of speed to move this thing along. Um, but I'm going to leave those blank for right now until we get the rest of our, the rest of our words laid out. So worst idea ever. We can delete that out since we used it. And now we just have ever, which I like the idea of being really big, um, but I think because it would be way too big, uh, I'm actually just going to uh, maybe use a design, an icon over on the left hand side. We've got space for our three icons that we're going to add here, two rectangles and some type of uh, icon that will represent like a worst idea. Uh, but I'm going to include the last part of this saying, which is I will be there in 10 minutes. So I'm going to delete this out, hit done. And I might just make this one line to kind of be the punchline, the final punchline of this funny saying down here. Um, so people are being more intrigued to read exactly what that says. So from far away, it might just look like this is your worst idea ever. Uh, and then at the bottom, as this kind of punchline will say, I'll be there in 10 minutes. So I'm going to move this up, and yes, it is out the bottom of our guideline, uh, but that's okay. It's just a guideline. It doesn't mean we have to stick to it a thousand percent perfectly. Really, we're just looking for the left and right uh, for these things to be nice and aligned. Uh, it just makes everything look a little bit tighter. You can see this design over here does the same thing where it's all kind of designed inside of one square uh, instead of just your normal text on a shirt, which might be kind of all over the place. So now's the fun part. Let's go and find some icons that we can use. And we're going to use a rectangle for this first part. Uh, we'll just pull in a rectangle and see if we can't get the sizing to work the way we want to. We might have to duplicate this and kind of drag it out to make it a little bit longer. Um, but we're going to move this in place. And so this is one of the limitations of Spark. Uh, I've definitely talked about this before, is sometimes it does require uh, thinking outside of the box when it comes to uh, doing things. Like you can't just drag and drop like the exact rectangle size that you want. Uh, so finding a rectangle that can represent what you want and then duplicating it out to elongate it is uh, a good thing to do. And it really adds just something more to your text-based designs uh, than just literally putting text on a shirt. Here's something simple that we can do uh, it takes a little bit more time, but I think it makes our designs look a lot more premium. Uh, and it's cool that we can take that inspiration from, uh, you know, a design that has nothing to do. Uh, maybe it's a humorous saying, but it has nothing to do with this saying. So we're really trying to figure this out for ourselves, uh, how to make this work. So I think that looks good. Worst idea. They're kind of on two different levels. They got the rectangles in there and they're not quite as fancy. But again, we're just taking inspiration from that. It doesn't have to be exactly. Uh, so now we're going to look for an icon to put here um, that kind of represents worst idea. So I'm going to go to icon and I'm going to type in idea. And light bulbs, this is kind of what I expected. I really like this idea of putting the light bulb inside of a head, though, because uh, that really cements that it is an idea. So as I'm scrolling down, I'm just looking for one that I personally think would work well um, with this design. But this is the beauty of the down project. There are just so many icons that we can select from here. Um, and let's try this one. I just passed it. This one here. Uh, I kind of like just this overall shape of the head and the light bulb. It all kind of feels like it works with this design. So I'm obviously going to have to make this a little bit smaller. And now that I'm looking at it, I might actually switch where this design and wherever is, because uh, this would be two icons on top of each other, and I don't think they work all that well. Um, so I'm going to put ever over here on the left hand side, move this down. Uh, and again, since we have the guide, it's nice and easy to line this up, put the head here. And it's not going to be perfectly spaced, but even if we have some gaps in here, uh, that's okay. We can just keep budging things until we get it to where uh, it doesn't feel too awkward or weighted one side or the other. Uh, and that's really what I was trying to fix there. Having two icons right next to each other is going to make this left side feel way heavier uh, than the right side or just more weighted uh, to this left side. And I like the way this rectangle is interacting with worst and ever uh, as well. 
So we're gonna remove this box in the background now that we kind of have it all here and just sit with this for a second. Uh, but I think that's a pretty good layout. It's definitely different than what I was doing before and that was the, uh, the goal of today uh, for me personally, but also for this video to show you guys how you can take inspiration from a design uh, and use it for your own print on demand products. That design isn't 100% done. I definitely want to play with the colors and maybe a little bit of nudging here and there. Uh, I am a bit of a perfectionist when it comes to that, but I'll save you guys uh, those nitty gritty details. Uh, if you are actually interested in seeing step-by-step -step process, I know I went through today a little bit quickly, uh, there will be a link in the description below for a course that we have on our website that takes you from uh, brand new to Spark, learning the tool and how to make text-based designs with this tool. I think it's a fantastic place to start, but if you'd like to see me design with it more, there are these playlists over here that you guys can click on. But until the next video, I'll see you guys around.